progress. This is a story of when Greg Allman took a 16 year old girl that he met when she was 15, took a 16 year old girl out on the road with him and had a relationship with her for two years. Now, I want to start by saying there's a lot of common facts, you know, when she was born, when he was born, etc. But a lot of this story is taken from an interview with a woman who I never met. And what she said was her story. Okay? So, it's opinion or speculation. And I'm saying that because when GQ did a story on the 16-year-old girl who later became a porn star when they were telling her story GQ right they got this listen to this attorneys for Greg Allman have requested that GQ not use his name in connection with Shannon's Shannon was the 16-year-old girl But Shannon mentioned it frequently, her relationship with Greg, and she had Greg tattooed on her ankle. Now, Greg has never denied having the relationship. Greg's never denied it, okay? His attorneys just put out a letter and said, hey, don't talk about Greg in connection with Savannah, the porn star, because it's not a good look to to have taken a a 16 year old girl out on the road for two years okay and i'll tell you the story of what happened like i said i i got this information from uh a uh one of these newspapers one of these local la newspapers after shannon had died there was a, a an article on her that was written because she was being trashed. And one of her good friends stepped up and said, no, let me tell you Shannon's story because you shouldn't be judging this woman. She's had a hard life. I can't remember it was in the free press or uh, the back pages or uh, LA Weekly, one of these magazines, but her friend stepped up to defend her against these accusations that, you know, she was a horrible person, you know, et cetera, et cetera, saying, hey, listen, let me tell you the story about her life. So I'm going to tell you what she said. And the story of Shannon Wiley begins before she's even born because her mom Her name is Pam, and her dad's name is Mike. Now, Pam tells Mike she's pregnant, right? And it's his. But guess what? Mike doesn't believe her. Because Pam is, as Mike says, unstable. And she's not exactly a loyal girlfriend, okay? So, Mike did not believe her. Mike did not believe Pam when Pam said she was pregnant with Mike's kid. Okay? But, Mike hung in there. Mike hung in there. And he took care of Pam and Shannon until Shannon was three years old. And Mike said, I'm done. Mike drove Pam and the daughter, Shannon, who he didn't believe was his, to Pam's mom's house in Texas, dropped them off and said, bye. So Shannon 
did know her dad for a short time when she was very little. So she knew her dad was there, right? She knew her dad, but she didn't know her dad because her dad abandoned her. Now, if you look at women with daddy issues, a lot of them are because their dad is not there. Their dad abandons them. Their dad leaves. So they are then their whole life looking for their dad. So the stage is set. Now, Shannon met Greg by complete happenstance. Complete happenstance. Shannon and her mom, Pam, were eating at a diner in Texas. Guess who's in there? Greg Allman. This is Greg Allman in 1986 when he met Shannon. So Shannon, who's 15. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, she was 16. No, no. this woman who I'm talking about along when I talked about the beginning of, the, of this video, who stood up to defend Shannon said, no, 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 no. Shannon said she was 15 when she met Greg. Okay. And if you look at it, Shannon was born in 1970, in October. And they started dating in 1986 when she was 16. But she's 15 for the first 10 months. So if Greg met her in July, she would have been 15. If Greg met her in August, she would have been 15. I don't know the exact date, but Shannon said she was 15. Okay? So... Here's Greg. Greg is 23 years older than her. Okay. Here's a grown man, almost 40 years old, checking out a 15 year old girl, perving out on a 15 year old girl in a diner. Now, most moms would say, Hey, Hey, excuse me, buddy. Can you like mind your own business? They might go, Hey, waitress, can we move to another table? This dude's bothering me. Not Pam. Not Shannon's mom. Shannon's mom says, Hey, Shannon, he's staring at you and he's a rock star. Why don't you go talk to him? See, this is how Greg got away with this whole thing legally and physically because Shannon's mom, Pam, right from the get-go, condoned the idea. She gave consent for her daughter to sleep with a man that was 23 years older than she was. She gave consent to Greg Allman to basically have her daughter. So, Shannon and Greg hook up. And by hook up, I mean Greg wants to take her on tour. So, Shannon's mom, Pam, goes, no problem. I'll go with you, right? I'm going to be with my daughter. So, that's, like I said, this enables Greg to, he's not transporting a minor across state lines. He's not having sex with a minor. He's not doing any of that. He has her and her mom with him. So her Shannon is traveling with her mom. Her mom is taking care of Shannon on the road. And at this point, Shannon's 16 years old. 16 years old. Now, when they're on the road with Pam, Shannon's mom, Greg and, and Shannon sleep together and Pam's not there. They're in their own, they're in their bus and Shannon's somewhere else. And whenever they, whenever Greg got a hotel, him and Shannon got a hotel and Pam got a different room. So it's not like Pam was chaperoning her daughter, you know, on this tour. Okay. 
Now, as time goes on, what happens is Pam starts getting tired of being around and doing this, so she signs over guardianship to Greg. So now Greg becomes this 16-year-old, 17-year-old girl's guardian. So now basically he can take her anywhere. He puts her, I think he puts her up in an apartment, if I'm not mistaken. He can come and go as he wants. He can just pay for her to be there. Doesn't have to nothing. He has does doesn't have to have anybody's permission because he's her guardian. Now during this time, Shannon gets hooked on heroin. Okay. And later on, Shannon's mom said, as a minor, she became a drug addict under his care. And she says under his care because that's when she was his guardian. I mean, he was her guardian. He was Shannon's guardian. So that's, he, he's responsible for her. And she becomes a heroin addict. And of course, his manager says, oh, this is, you know, not even worth worthy of a statement, you know. Well, that's, you know, well, let me help you out. Here's Greg, right? Says, I was into hard drugs. I didn't get sober until 1995. In other words, I was doing hard drugs or whatever I wanted until 1995. He broke up with Shannon in 1988. He didn't quit doing heroin until 1995. Right? So here's a guy doing heroin, gets a girlfriend that starts basically living with him. She gets addicted to heroin. How did it happen? Come on, man. He may not have held her arm and shot the heroin into it. Girl's not addicted to heroin. Not addicted to heroin. Starts dating a guy that is addicted to heroin. Girl becomes addicted to heroin. So anyway, she's 17 now, okay? She met Greg when she was 15. She goes on the road with him when he's 16. He becomes her guardian. Now she's 17. Guess what happens? She gets pregnant. Okay? So he's got a 17-year-old girl pregnant. And it was just before her 18th birthday. So she was about to become a legal adult. She gets pregnant at 17. Now she wants to keep the kid but he doesn't want to have anything to do with it. He's telling her, no, get an abortion. I don't want anything to do with this kid. I don't want this kid. I don't want, you know, I don't know. I don't want this, but she wants to keep the kid. And she's just about to turn 18. So Greg, guess what he does? He breaks up with her. He kicks her to the curb. He abandons her. Just like her dad did. Now, it's one thing that, that she's pregnant, okay? And you're, you're, it's also the fact that she's turning 18. So he's he's covering his own butt, right? Because when she turns 18, now all of a sudden, she's not he's not her guardian, she can start, you know, claiming that she could be his wife, claiming you know, she, there, there's a whole different legal territory that happens when a woman is 18, as opposed to your 17 year old, you know, uh, person that you're, you're guardian of, you know, there's a whole different legal realm that Greg is getting ready to walk into. Okay, with an 18-year-old girlfriend as opposed to a 17-year-old girlfriend that he's the guardian of. So he's 
done. She's pregnant. She's about to turn 18. He's done. Breaks up with him. Now she, Shannon, is so distraught. Think about it. Greg's her whole life. Greg has been her whole life for the past two years. She was a 16-year-old girl when he took her out on tour and started having a relationship with her. He's got her hooked on heroin. And then he goes, bye. You're pregnant? Bye. You want to keep the kid? Bye. She's so distraught. She's so stressed out. She has a miscarriage. She has a miscarriage. So now she's 18. She had a miscarriage. She's hooked on heroin. She turns 19. This is where her life takes a turn into her becoming Savannah. She's dating rock stars. She's going to places where, you know, strip clubs. Apparently some people approach her and say, we make a lot of money doing these films. She starts doing porn films. Starts making a lot of money. One of the top paid performers. Starts making a lot of money. But by the time she's 23, she's on the downswing. Not getting as many jobs, has a bunch of bills, is in debt. She ends up wrecking her car. That's a car that she wrecked right there. She ends up wrecking her car, breaking her nose, and cutting her face. And at that point... She tells uh, her friend who's staying with her or who was with her in the car, here, take my dog for a walk. She goes, gets a gun that she keeps in the house, walks out to the garage, and shoots herself in the head at age 23. So that's the story of Greg Allman taking a 16-year-old girl on the road with him.